Hello. Hello, anyone there? Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Amy. You all right, lovely? Whoops. Sorry, I keep yanking on that um, cable. <laughs> Okay, I'll just wait for a few more people to join. Right, I think I've just disconnected and then come back on again. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not going to do this today. Everyone all right? Give us a little wave if you're there and you can hear me. Can't really see much chat going on. Ah, done. Hi Claire, you all right, love? So I'm coming on today to give you a little tutorial on the full foiled and the get foiled, just in case any of you have got still got the get foiled. Um and obviously the wonderful gorgeous foils so it just um a few people have been having problems with getting it to stick so i thought i'd just come on and do a little live just to give you a heads up on the proper way to put it on so if you've got any questions then you can ask Okay, so I've done a couple of these before on my courses. So I did the bronze course on Monday and Tuesday and we covered this. Um, and it went on first time. On both, for both. So I'm not sure what everyone's doing differently to me. But hopefully it will clear it all, uh, clear it all up for you. And we can sort it out. Right, these are my tips that I did the other day. So, um, this one was my full foiled cover. You can see there it's a full, full, full kind of coverage. Apart from the very end, because it was a very long tip. <laughs> so, I, I popped a little bit of extra on the end. That was it. Um, and then this one was done with the get foiled because obviously you have to press that on and kind of like put it on in patches it doesn't go on in one full go so hopefully I'll show you both of them today um, hi Louise hi Sarah hi Lisa hi Tracy right we'll get going shall we Okay, so I'm just going to take this off for a minute. So really, when you are doing uh, the foils, you need to be able to put a base down first, okay? So you either need to use a base coat or a colour coat as your base, all right? If you're trying to put it on straight on the pops, I'm not sure because I haven't done that myself. I've, never, I've only ever used it over a base um, or a base colour. So I, I've never used it directly on these pops, Okay, so I don't know whether that works or not, um, but I'm going to do it on a base of Black Betty so that you can see if there's any like little bits through it. But usually if I'm doing a foil like this, I'll do it on a base that's very similar when I was using Get Foiled because sometimes the base shows through. As I say, you get little gaps with Get Foiled, but with Full Foiled, you shouldn't really have any gaps at all. Okay. But I'll do it on a base of Black Betty, just so you can see. So I'm going to go in with my Black Betty first. Just one layer. Sorry if I'm wobbling the camera, by the way. You'll have to just bear with me. Here 
feels like I haven't done a live for ages. Well, I haven't really. It's been weeks. I've missed you all. We'll have to get back to doing a few, won't we? Look, there's always one piece of glitter in there. So I've just done a little rough base of Black Betty for that one. Okay, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. All right. Hi, Sarah. You're all right, love. Oh, God, I hate wearing gloves. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly put my finger on it. These gloves are too big for me. Okay, right, so I'm going to do the same with my other one. If I can find it. There it is. So I'm going to do another base of Black Betty on this one. So I'll use Get Foiled on this one. So try to put a base of either a base coat at least or some kind of gel colour down beforehand. Because I think maybe if you're putting it straight on the pops, I'm not sure how they're going to come out, the pops, um, with it directly on there. So maybe that's the problem. I'm not too sure, but I'm just trying to figure out what, is happening to everyone's application to make it look go so wrong really because everyone seems to be having problems getting it to stick in one piece and i don't seem to have any problems but watch this make a liar out of me now either because <laughs> i'm live <laughs> hi lisa you're all right love tuned in to see the disaster <laughs> but i promise you i have done them before look promise okay <laughs> I'm going to put my other black one in. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to do... I'll tell you what, I'll do get foiled first. So I'm going to use my get foiled first, okay? Hi, Gemma. So I'm doing the magpie wiggle like we always do. Magpie wiggle and then white one side. That's all you'll need. And then you just put a nice even coat over. You don't have to take any tacky layers off or anything like that. I've never ever taken a tacky layer off, to be honest. I don't know whether you need to. What's that in there? Oh, I've got a little bobble. I'm sorry. That must have been when I touched it with my, my glove earlier. Sorry when I was putting it in. Um, so I'm going to put this in. This is get foiled. Okay, so get foiled takes two minutes. Okay, so if you're not setting it for two minutes, then you're not setting it long enough. Okay, so get foiled, which is the old foil gel, needs to be set for two whole minutes. So 120 seconds, okay, or 260 second cures. That's my other black one come out now. And I'm putting that in for two minutes, so I'm going to change that to two minutes on my lamp. So that's in there. Oops. Where did that go? Oh, it fell out. Hold on a minute. These little magnetic things. Right, there we go. Right, it's in there. Okay, so this is my other black one that's just come out. And I'm going to use full foiled on this one. So this is the full foil, brand new one. Okay. It'll be saved this later on anyway, if you can't make it, Trace. Uh, it'll be saved later on on the announcement section so you can watch it back later on, okay? So magpie wiggle, wipe one side and then I'm going to apply this all over again on the other one. So this is the full foiled one. So this has to be set for 60 seconds in your lamp. And as you can see, I've not, removed, I've not removed any tacky layer again. It's just full foil straight on. Okay. So I'm going to pop that in. And then we'll have to just chat for a bit while we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, so mine came off in pretty much one go. I just slipped while putting the foil on. Right, okay. So... What do you use full foiled for line work, June? What do you mean? Do you mean like just putting it in certain areas? Um, yeah, probably. Because you're going to get a full um, kind of line then, aren't you? So if you mean like putting it on for art, then yeah, full foil is going to be the best. Because you're going to get a full piece off. 
Whereas get foiled is a tap and one. So you can use different colours and get a different effect from that. Um, but yeah, so full fold for line work. Yes, I'd say so. Natalie Williams, mine worked full first time, luckily. Yeah, same here. Okay, so I'm going to get my get foiled out first, okay? So this is my get foiled with my little nubbin on the end where I touched it with my glove, sorry. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to use the same foil for both so you can get an idea which is which. Oh, I can't get in it now with my gloves, so I'll have to get my tweezers. Do, 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 do. Let me see, get my tweezers. Right, I'm just going to cut a long piece off, so I'm going to do it this way because last time I did it the other way and I didn't have enough. <laughs> so I had to tap a little bit on the end. So I'll cut two pieces about this size. So it's about, what, four or five centimetres long. Okay, so this is my get foiled. I've not wiped the back. You've just seen me cut it out. I've not wiped the back, not done anything to it, okay? So this is my get foiled. So this is the bit that has to be applied in pieces. So you have to tap this on, but you can still get a full coverage from it. So there is a knack to this. Um, and our lovely Jenny Johnson, she's got that good knack which is like waxing, basically. Um, so you have to press it on nice and firm and rip it off quick, all right? And then you'll get a good uh, adhesion to it. So I'm going to just press and rip, okay? You keep moving the foil around because if you, obviously if you press that bit on again, you're not going to get anything coming off and it's just going to take that tacky layer off. So you need to keep moving your foil about, okay? So I'm going to press and rip again. So you can see that coverage there. I'm going to go over this little side bit. So I'm moving my foil around again. Press that down, rip it off. So you can see how you can build up a full coverage with that. I'm going to move it about again. Hi Claire, are you alright? You've caught me foiling. Okay, and then again I'm moving it around again. Always making sure I'm pressing that down. All right. And then again, last bit. Tiny bit on the end there. If you see any little bits, just go over it. Make sure you're moving that foil about. So that is your get foiled coverage. Isn't it satisfying watching someone doing that? Bloody lovely nail porn. That's what that is, nail porn. Okay, <laughs> so as you can see, that's where I've moved it all around. Um, and you need to obviously just keep that moving about and then you get that full coverage from Get Foiled. Oh, hello, Jenny. I've just been talking about you, love. You must have heard me. So if you've got any little tiny bits that you want to go over, then you just keep pressing on and just try and fill them in. But you can get a lovely, good, full coverage from your Get Foiled. Okay. So then what I'm going to do with this one is put a layer of Give Me Strength over that. So you need to seal the foils because they are little thin pieces of like plasticky foil. So you can't really leave it with just a top coat. I always make sure I put a layer of Give Me Strength over this just to give that a little bit more wearability a bit of longevity so you know what these clients are like okay so i'm going to pop that in the lamp and get my full foils out okay so that's going in for 60 seconds okay so this is my full foils so when I take this straight out of the lamp, I don't do anything to it. I don't wipe any tacky layers. I don't touch it. I don't do anything. I just get my foil. 
the way I'm going to apply it. Oh, I want to do it that way, but there's not enough. Oh, well, never mind. So I'm going to put my foil on, usually central. And I just literally touch it like that and then wipe it down the centre. Okay, so now that's stuck to the nail now. Okay, so this is full foiled, everyone, just in case you're joining late. And then I'll pop that down for a minute. I get a lint-free pad, turn it over and turn it over again. So I've got a nice kind of scrubby layer. Let me just fold my glove in just in case I get that. Pick it back up and I'm literally rubbing all over this surface. Okay, I've got my fingers underneath supporting the nail as well. All right. Now it's on to full foil this. So if you watch it back, Vicky, you'll see all of the, the steps beforehand. It'll be saved in the announcement section at the top. So I'm making sure that I'm rubbing the whole of this surface. Okay, I'm trying to get it not to fall off the, the, the stand. <laughs> okay, I'm even rubbing the sides. I don't want it to move. So just be careful, hold the bits that you're not rubbing so you don't get it to move, okay? Because if it starts to move, it's just gonna peel off and you're not gonna have time to rub it all on, okay? So make sure you rub all of those sides in as well. Free edge, the lot, okay? Give it a good rub and you'll actually see it. See the way that's starting to come away already? See it? See where it's kind of stuck to the nail and you've got like that transparent. So that's how you know that that's stuck. So just keep giving it a good rub, a bit of rub down, even on the edge. Okay, this might be ready to come off now. I'm rubbing extra hard, girls, just because I don't want it to make a liar out of me life. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to pull this off and peel this off now. So you'll see. Ta-da! There you go. Full foiled, full application. So I'm not quite sure what you're all doing. Well, you won't come that. You can use your silicone tool. But I just use this. It's fine. Just give it a rub over and it's okay. But if you want to get into any little nooks and crannies on your, on your clients, then yeah, the silicone tool is brilliant for that. Were you holding your breath then, Jen? <laughs> so this is obviously your full foiled application. If you aren't getting this, then just go over it and keep practicing and making sure that you're pressing down on everything. OK, make sure you're rubbing it make sure you're not the foil isn't moving. And obviously we've tested this to work in the Magpie lamp. So if you are using a different brand lamp, it might not be curing the full foiled or the get foiled properly. OK, so you need to take that into consideration as well. All right. So just make sure that you're following our guidelines and following this tutorial fully and you shouldn't have a problem with it. Um, I'm going to put my Give Me Strength over this now because you would always put Give Me Strength over before your top coat just to give it a little bit more um, longevity. As I say, you don't want to just put this on and then just put a really thin top coat over the top because it will wear because it's nice and thin, the foil. Um, but obviously to get a good longevity out of that, you need to put your GMS over it so you Give Me Strength. For anyone who doesn't know what GMS is or Give Me Strength is, it's a structure gel. So it just makes it a little bit harder and a little bit more longer wearing for the clients. So that is going in for 60 seconds. So I hope that's answered some of your queries and questions about the application. So this is my Get Foiled. Um, so that's got a bit of every colour on there. It's really multicoloured. So that's, that, that's what I love about um, Get Foiled. 
and um, people are always going oh I don't you know you can't get fuller coverage out of it no you can't get full coverage out of it but you can in a way look and that is so colourful, look, because I've used all different pieces of it. And that's what I love about um, Get Foiled, is that you can use it to put just bits on it so it looks a little bit more funky, yeah? So that's obviously the result from Get Foiled. So you can still get a full foil nail. And these bloody patterns are just fabulous. I absolutely love this one. This is Billy, Billy Foil. You need to get these because these are just bloody gorgeous. Look at that print. Whoever doesn't like that needs the head red, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I will put top coat on this now. Um, and this is my full foiled application. All done. So you can see you can get a full, full coverage out of that. Okay. And that's got GMS over it as well now that they're both fully cured. So yeah, this is your full foiled, all done. And you get foiled, all done as well. I'll put that there so you can see. So yeah, you can do a full application with your get foiled and a full application with your full foiled. Just make sure that you follow this tutorial. If you're having any problems, you can always message me. God, I shouldn't have said that now, should I? I'll just get loads of messages. Oh, well, I'll just voicemail you back, that's all. Um, okay, um, hopefully that's answered some of your questions. I don't think you've got any questions there. I'm just a bit baffled as to why everyone is having such a problem with it. So if you miss a bit with full foiled, can you correct it? Yes, I'm sure you can. As long as you haven't taken that tacky layer off with the foil and you stuck or stuck your finger in it or stuck your glove on it. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Um, I've done it with the end bit on that one because I didn't cut my foil big enough. Not that one. That, yeah, that one. Yeah, I didn't cut my foil big enough. So it finished <laughs> and the point wasn't covered. So I had to go over it with a little bit of... Um, another part of the foil so that filled in no problem and um, so as long as you don't take that tacky layer off it should be fine okay i love the magpie boys too jenny right i'm gonna um i'm gonna go now um you can use the full foils to do bits as well yeah of course you can yeah so you can use full foils the same as get foiled okay so don't worry about it if you want that kind of like look here which is the get foiled, you can still use that and still do that with the full foiled. All right. Um, so yeah, if you if you are not using the magpie lamp, it, you're gonna vary with you, what results you get, aren't you? Because it might not be curing it properly. So if you're finding that it's a bit slidey and all of that. So, um, oh Mel, bloody hell can't get rid of you. Been following me around for days, stalker. <laughs> Love you, Mal. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything anyway. You've just tuned in at the last minute there, Mel. So you'll have to watch it back. Um, so yeah, Magpie Lamp is really important. So make sure you're fully curing it properly. Um, so it's 60 seconds for the full foiled and it's two minutes, which is 120 seconds for get foiled. Okay, so just make sure you're using the Magpie Lamp for this because that's what it's been tested with. So that's obviously we know it all works and it's all cured fine. Um, if you are using another lamp yet, yeah, your results are going to vary so just be careful about that okay so hopefully that's helped everyone i'm gonna go and get a cuppa um i did a fab youtube tutorial on this when did i do that did i do a youtube tutorial on this did i don't remember that okay uh <laughs> doesn't surprise me um right okay so um i'll try and upload this to youtube then this one if i can i'll do that um right i'm gonna go now then i think i've showed you everything you need to know um if you need me just message me and i'll try and get back to you as soon as pass um right short and sweet today i'll see you soon then people um and good luck with your full foils and you get foiled Oh, the full-on tips. 
yeah, Full On Tips is on my YouTube and I think it's on Magpie's YouTube as well. And it's on my IGTV, yeah. So you can get it on that for the full tips, the full tip tutorial. Um, yeah, all right then. So I'm going to go now and get a cuppa. I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.